Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about what going to art school slash film school was like in downtown Chicago when I went there. I went there for three semesters and I just finished up my last one there if you didn't know already. I was a film major and I'm not going there anymore. That was my last semester because I'm actually switching majors. So I'm done there and starting a new chapter of my life, but I want to kind of talk about what life was like living in downtown Chicago and going to school there. So first of all, obviously it's going to be very busy there. I lived, you know, right down in the South Loop area, so there was pretty much constantly people all around, which was really, really nice, but it also, like, when feelings of, like, loneliness would come, which happened all the time for me, because, like, if I wasn't constantly with someone, I felt lonely. And, like, knowing that there was so many people out there, so many things to do, and I wasn't out there taking advantage of it made me feel even worse in my times of loneliness. So, like, I'd get lonely all the time, and then I'd think about all these other people there, and I'd feel even more lonely. But it was just always busy. Always busy. <laughs> And next, so since I was in film school, that means I was making a lot of films and being in such an amazing location meant there was always filming locations, whether it be for like class or for YouTube videos. And I tried to take advantage of that as much as possible, but like I didn't always feel like going out or sometimes the weather was bad, but like the few times that I did go out and film, it was amazing. And I was also pretty camera shy, like talking in front of a camera in like with a bunch of people around by myself it was also it was just kind of weird like i'm fine like if somebody else is there with me or something like that but alone filming myself like vlogging type style it just felt weird for me but i should have taken advantage of that opportunity a little more and there was always things to do obviously duh like especially like for my classes too we would go out and take advantage of that like especially during like the free days my class death and desire my big chicago class we went to the field museum on a free day and we had a project to do there we all like kind of split into groups and went around the museum and tried to find some things and like do our journal about it and i know like our marine biology class like goes to the shed aquarium and does like projects and stuff there so it's really cool to be able to take advantage of all those cool things in chicago and use them for school as well also, my dorm room had the most amazing view my sophomore year. I was on the 14th floor of my building, looking out onto, like, the lake. I could see, you know, south of me, to the north, all the buildings. At night, it was the most amazing view, and it was completely different from my view freshman year. I was in the same building, but I was on the 5th floor, so all I could really see was, like, the one building that was, like, right across from my dorm that, like, blocked the entire view. So I saw that building in the parking lot, but then, you know, the next year being you know, nine stories up, I could see everything, and it was absolutely amazing. It was also really nice being able to walk to everything. I didn't bring my car down, which sometimes that was kind of annoying, but for the most part, you know, it was nice not having to worry about it and pay for parking, which is so expensive, gas so expensive, but I had, like, free public transportation so I could get to the suburbs easily and, like, go out and use that for, like, my job because I was a dog walker, and so I'd always, you know, take the trains or the buses out to, like, the suburbs and go walk dogs for a while so like walking dogs was absolutely amazing there and getting like free transportation to get there was also super easy and all my classes except for like one of our buildings but all our campus buildings are within walking distance of my dorm which was also super nice so i could leave you know 10 minutes before class starts make it to class on time get home 10 minutes later and be fine just like that and so like even if i like forgot something during class sometimes like people would do that and they'd be like, can I just run back and get it? And they would literally be allowed to run home to your dorm, like grab your paper that you needed and come back to class and make it back within like 20 minutes. Uh, I also had night classes, which was a little scary, like walking in the dark. I had my intro to digital cinematography class at like, started at like 6.30 and it got done at like 9.30. And so walking to there was dark and walking back was even darker because it gets dark super fast in central time. It's dark at like, 5 o'clock p.m. and so walking home was a little scary I was always you know kind of on alert and like I would try to like walk home with people as much as I could but that's not always possible so I had to walk home alone but being alert was always super important and a little scary at times because I've witnessed 
robbings in the city. I was on one of the trains, the Green Line, and the lady across from me had her phone almost stolen, her purse stolen, the guys next to me had their laptop bag stolen. It was scary. I could have been easily the victim, and so it always makes me a little more alert, hold my bag a little closer, hold my phone a little tighter, and my one friend also almost had his bag stolen. Some guy just walking down the street during the middle of the day walking down opposite side, grabbed his bag and tried to run. Luckily, my friend had a good grip on it and he had, I don't know if you know what a lens ball is, but it's basically a glass ball the size of like a baseball, solid glass. He hit him over the head with his glass lens ball and the guy let go of his backpack, so he got away with it, but he almost could have easily had that stolen. So yeah, it's a little scary being there, especially, you know, walking home alone or walking alone almost any time is a little scary, but especially at night. You just always have to be alert. But I wouldn't trade my experience at Chicago for anything. I met so many new people, learned about so many new cultures and new ideas, and just had so many amazing experiences that I never would have had if I would have stayed here. So it really like broadened my horizons and opened my mind to the world a lot more, and I just learned so much while being there. And I was happy for the most part, but like during the end of my sophomore year, I was experiencing a lot of like anxiety and loneliness and things like that. But for the most part, my time there was amazing. And those are kind of the pros and the cons of what life was like living in downtown Chicago and going to school there. And so yeah, it was a really interesting experience. And I think I covered about everything that I wanted to kind of say about it, but if you have any like questions or comments and things like that, feel free to, you know, talk to me in the comment section, I'll get back to you. And if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing because I have lots of other college related videos and things like this out. And thank you for watching.